Oh, yeah. Ugh, my fucking legs hurt. <laughs> yeah. You tell me, man. I woke up early today. Like five. Mm-hmm. Took a shit. Like a 30 minute poop Saw in one I thought I was done At 15 minutes Is it that meme Of the guy That's with the sweaty shirt At the gym And he's like Just took sh- <laughs> Just took a shit Ready to hit the workout <laughs> no, bro, those, those morning poops Sometimes hit different No for real What's up everybody <laughs> It's the knife funk Are you regular Do you have enough fiber In your diet <laughs> At the top of the episode, just <laughs> reminding everybody, make sure to go check us out on Instagram at the Knife on Podcast. Yeah, we're sponsored by Fiber One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not the uh, uh, the Member Mark Sam's Club Edition. Yes. Not the normal brand one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, find us on Instagram, also on TikTok at the Knife on Podcast, and also on YouTube now. And TikTok. TikTok too. Yeah. Maybe threads. We <laughs> post on there sometimes when we don't get banned. <laughs> Yeah. TikTok's the one that tries us the most. Yeah, it does. They don't like the Tiananmen Square stuff. They really do not. Yeah. Or the, you know, us saying gay. Yeah, which is weird because we're not ever saying gay. Uh, anytime I've ever had a clip where we did say gay, it wasn't because we were calling something gay. We're just saying something about gay yeah, people. Yeah, but that's a whole thing now where people are like, you can't say that anymore. I was like, shut up. I'm not retarded. <laughs> 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 no, but. It's one of those things where it's like hit or miss, depends on which crowd you're with. Mm-hmm. Like, is that is that picture on the online you see? Is like you make a joke with a group A of friends, and it's funny. But if you make the joke with group B of friends, it's offensive. So, yeah, I think yeah. I think now more than ever, there's like a two, there's there's a there's a double sided like category of mm-hmm. like what people consider to be funny and what other people consider to not be funny. Yeah. Where a lot of times. Somebody can find something extremely funny, but also understand that it's wrong. A good example is, like, I love watching Alex Jones clips. <laughs> I don't believe anything that he says half the time. Just watching his madness. But it, it's yeah. fucking funny. The same with, like, whenever all that uh, Andrew Tate shit was coming out, hearing the stupid shit that this yeah, man spews, it's funny because, like, it's kind of like... When you play along with that facade, it's funny to think that yeah. people think this way, you know? And I think a lot of people don't like that. I know a lot of times uh, people who like that kind of humor that aren't for those type of politics, you mm-hmm. know, they're referred to as dirtbag leftists. Have you heard that before? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You Which I just, like, I just think is so, like, unnecessary. Like, yeah. There, at one point in time, mostly everything that was being posted on TV was some way shape or form offensive yeah you know? we're, we're watching a uh, modern family we're on like season eight and you're still making like fucking racist ass jokes yeah being like well you know in your in your village i bet you didn't have water running water and then gloria played by uh sofia vergara of course plays along it's like no we would have to go down to the river and wash our clothes it's like you're pushing the the racism too yeah <laughs> but um i, I mean wonder, uh, was, i wonder what she looks like naked probably hot still I know. She's like, bro, uncom- no. She's did uncomfortably see, hot. Did you see the video recently of uh, uh, Selma Hayek celebrating her birthday? She's in her 50s. Yes. She's in the pool. Yeah. Oh my God. 50, dog. <laughs> she's old. Like, she's 56, 57. That's how old. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's she's, how old my mom and dad are. <laughs> she, the, she's older than my mom. Yeah. But she fucking she's looks fucking amazing. Banging. She made a deal with the devil, dog. There's yeah. no way you can look that young. It's without. just good genes, man. It's probably really that, and she probably just really takes care of herself. Yeah, I mean, she watches what she eats. Maybe if like, you have the money clean. and the resources to fucking Fuck get yeah. like you know, uh, was it personal trainers and like dietitians and shit? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna fucking stay at a peak level. I mean, you just hire someone to buy you the healthy groceries. That way, you don't go to the store and be like, "Well, there's chips ahoy." Yeah, I could make a chips. If I had sandwich. that kind of money, I would hire like a really aggressive like German woman to like beat the shit out of me whenever I would like fall out of line. Now I'm not saying that in a kink way. I'm, I'm I mean like no, it's a, a kink way too. Okay, it yeah. could be in a kink way. I hire my buddy, uh, the one that I lived with over in San Diego. Yeah, because yeah, he's yeah. the one who kicked me in the shit the first time because he just forced me to go. Yeah. I mean, it would it would be shitty at first, but then I'd be like, all right, I'm getting into shape again. Well, that's perfect. Because today we're yeah. talking all things gym, gym culture, uh, yeah. gym bros, all the shit that you see at the gym. This week has been, in preparation for this episode, I've been working my fucking ass off. Honestly. I'm just going to begin back on my routine. I've been fucking, yeah. I've been feeling th- so disappointed in myself too, though, because like. Do you feel weak? 
Huh? Feel weak? Yes, because yeah. <laughs> like I can't I can't pump the weight I used to be yeah. able to. And not just that, but like I'm so fucking like not as strong as I used to be. Uh mainly because I guess like my jo- the job that I do is still a physical job, but it's not nearly as physical as other jobs I've it's had. It's a monotonous physical job. Yes. So you do the same thing over and over again. Yes. So now when it comes to like but the thing is, I've noticed that my strength has kind of shifted lately. Mm. I'm a lot stronger in like some ways than I was before. I used to have shit legs. Like I like my squats were terrible. Like yeah. a couple of squats and now I'd be fucking done. Now I feel like my legs are a lot stronger. My arms are definitely fucking like I can do push-ups. I can handle my body weight better, which I'm noticing. But I'm oh, bro, getting... I suck at push-ups because I'm I'm still fat. Yeah, so yeah. It but, fucking tears me up. But lately, I, as far as pumping weight, I've been mm. having such a fucking problem with it. Like curling weight has been an issue, which was never been an issue for me. I mean, it just comes with age too, man. Like I feel it on my elbows and my shoulders now. Mm-hmm. Like I and and I'm not doing like heavy weights like I used to do. Like before, I was throwing that shit up. Yeah, but. Now I'm just like, you know. Now I'm just throwing them. it back. <laughs> <laughs> pop, pop that pussy, baby. <laughs> but uh, no, like. Uh, Your wife just hears clapping. Not again. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming around the corner. I'm going to paint myself purple and call me Grimace. <laughs> uh, I got a shake for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, so, but like. What is it like? I'm doing like 20s, 25s just to kind of get like a, like a, get it going. Mm -hmm. And bro, afterwards, like my elbows and my shoulder, like I don't know why, but like my shoulder hurts. And um, I feel it because even doing this right now, like that, yeah, I have a pop in here. Mm -hmm. It's not the bone, it's like the muscle just like moving over each other. Oh, damn. So yeah, like I don't know what the hell that came from. Uh, Probably just, just age and tearing myself up. I think I, dick. I think it's also the way um I think it also has to do a lot with like how we like lay down to maybe cuz sometimes like I get I wake up with a lot of shoulder pain even when I don't work them out. I sleep on my left side. Uh do you? Yeah, I can't sleep on my right. If I'll I'll fall asleep on my right side, but mm-hmm. I'll flip in like 10 minutes and like either be on my back or on my left side. Mm. Yeah. So maybe it's just not getting like the damage like the other one is. Maybe so. I yeah. mean, age will does factor in a lot of things. Yeah. I have, I've had to clean up the diet a little bit too because mm-hmm. like I've noticed, dude, that eating fucking cheese is just giving me like the worst fucking acid reflux of my life. Yeah. I, I, it used to never be like that, but now like just like I, it's like it almost feels like as soon as I touch thirty, my body's like, ooh, yeah, you can't do that. You no can't more, do dairy yeah. no more. Bro, I'm I'm on that Zantac now. What's that, that? over-the-counter stuff for heartburn and indigestion? Oh, shit. It's a one-a-day pill? Bro, that stuff's magic. Uh, fuck. Well, maybe, maybe I might have to look to into that. it. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. Yeah. The little tiny little squares. I've been trying to be good about taking my vitamins and shit, all that other, like, like supplementary kind of yeah. shit. I was taking vitamin D, but I've been out in the sun a lot lately, so I've kind of been taking a... St- Taking that a step back, just focus on like I the multi been crushing zinc. <laughs> yeah, a fucking uh, taking a uh, fish oil too, mm-hmm. dude. There's nothing worse than waking up in the morning and trying to take like your vitamins, but you don't have access to food. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes you have to wait until a certain time to like get like breakfast. A lot of times, Tell like, bro, tell me about it, dude. I have to wait. Uh, I have to take one medicine. Wait thirty minutes. I can only take it with four ounces of water. Any more, and it messes up my stomach. And I have to wait 30 minutes before I eat or drink anything else or take anything else. And I'm just like, <sighs> yeah, I mean, yeah. most mornings, like before I take like all my vitamins and shit, I always like, I usually have the same meal. It's like three scrambled eggs, yeah. uh, toast wait, every morning. Yeah. Or you got to cut back on the eggs. Why? Cholesterol, bro. No, I mean, that's healthy cholesterol. That's not bad cholesterol. There's They're, two types, dog. Yeah, I know. And it comes with both. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I feel fine. Like, cut it with some oatmeal one day or something. Oh, I mean, I do it with toast and avocado. It's still an egg. Eh, I ain't yeah. worried about it. All right. Dude, I, I'm I just mean, saying, just cut, a, just cut a oatmeal in there every bro, once in a while. The 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 fountain of youth is Wevel and Ween, and Wevel's half that equation, okay? I just cut out the Ween, because the processed meat's pretty bad, but there ain't nothing wrong with eggs. No, no, it's fine. Just get the weenies. The, That's the, protein. The thing is, the... The issue, this is one thing that uh, I do 
think happens a lot in these like working out in health communities is you hear two sides of the story, you know, there's a so, lot of fads. There's a lot of fads and there's yeah. a lot of misinformation, but not just that, but sometimes some things just work different for different people. Yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I remember when I was living out with my buddy, uh, a bunch of his, uh, friends, uh, a bunch of our friends started, uh, doing this one's called, it was called bullet coffee. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a specific type of coffee that this guy was fucking honking and he sold it. He sold, he, he got fucking rich off of this shit. Uh, he sold the coffee and he also sold bullet butter because you put butter instead of cream or sugar in there. What the fuck? And people were like swearing up and down. Oh, this is great. It tastes delicious. I'm like, motherfucker, you're drinking like butter. Mm -hmm. Like I'm seeing you fuckers. Y'all are pulling like a heaping spoonful of butter in a cup of coffee. Well, I always heard that. If it's like naturally made butter, it's not as bad as like the fucking like ones made from like vegetable oils. Oh and yeah, shit. Duh. but I mean, I'm just saying like that's a greasy ass coffee in the morning, bro. Yeah, that's giving you the poops like immediately. I don't, uh, I can't, I can't do coffee in the morning, mm. dog. I don't like coffee in general, but I mean, I will occasionally like to get a coffee. I'll do coffee. I do a lot more coffee now because I work in the office. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's just something about coffee always makes me want to shit. No, yeah. It does it to everyone. Yeah. It's like, just... uh, it's like when you go to a, a bookstore or a library, you have to poop. Yeah. Yeah. And I also, uh, daily coffee drinkers that just carry that coffee breath mm. ain't about it. Oh, and then they like stains their teeth because they drink so damn much. Yeah. 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 It's like cigarettes. That is true. Yeah. But, but uh, I don't know. Like, uh. Also, it just dehydrates you, too, I think. Does it? Yeah, it's a... a There's some water in there. I think it's like an astringent. Mm. So it just makes you pee a lot more. So it dehydrates you. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I mean, you're drinking bean water. Yeah. That's Mexican. You're going to walk into work. What are you drinking? Coffee? No, pinto juice. Frijoles <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, charros. <laughs> This is the Ooh, water. Dude, no. This is the water. <laughs> oh, you're just eating free cordless <laughs> every morning? <laughs> now that's a fat ass move. Hell's yeah, man. But that's protein. No, bro, that's beans. Uh uh some bacon, some pork, uh -huh. some jalapenos to get that good gut going. Yeah. Because jalapenos help uh, the biome in your stomach. Oh, wait, wait, isn't a, a lot of starch though? The beans? Yeah. Just don't eat a fucking lot. Eat a cup. I mean, how are you gonna eat beans and not eat a lot? Just eat a cup, you fat fuck, dude. Yeah, I like my beans. Dog. I like beans too, but shit. Eggs and beans every morning, that's the way to go. That's the thing with diabetes. I have to be careful with all that shit. Yeah. Like, especially, um, like, since I'm working out, I have to be careful with what I put into. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like I was telling you before, I can't do uh, protein powders and stuff like that. I'm not going to do them anytime soon, but say I was trying yeah. to, like, get all fucking bulky and shit and needed just that. Uh, I can't because of my diabetes. Hmm. There's way too much shit in it, and it'll set me off. Mm. I didn't know that. I was like, oh, that's fucking crazy. So for me, luckily I have the type 2, which I can control. So once I get down to a level, then I could probably start doing it. Then the same thing goes for, uh, excuse me, um, like pre-workouts and shit like that. Um, some of them are just like caffeine and fucking sugars and shit oh i can't take them yeah. at all dude because of like because of like my anxiety medication that i take dog i'm just sensitive as fuck to like all caffeine now so i have to limit how much caffeine i drink in the day which sucks because sometimes i desperately needed to yeah. feel awake you know did you not check out that uh no stim one that i sent you uh no i i, I did check it out but i never ordered it mm -hmm. um but uh yeah like when it comes to like caffeine and shit like that, like I, I it's crazy how much yeah. that's changed just because I have to take a medication now. Mm -hmm. Is uh, I used to be able to drink like three energy drinks like yeah in a day, and then they would barely do anything to me. And now, if I drink like one too many cokes, I will fucking like spiral. Yeah, <laughs> I will literally be there like shaky as hell. Like what the fuck, like. <laughs> It's hitting, bro. <laughs> the first time I ever tried a fucking like pre workout was like a friend gave me some of the, uh, gave me like a packet of that C4 shit. Uh, I fucking hate C4. And I drank it at work, dude. By the mm. time lunch came around, I was like, oh my God. Like, yeah. my heart was fucking racing. And I wasn't doing like heavy, intensive work. Did you I, get all the itching and everything? Uh, I remember being fucking hot. Like, I was yeah. sweating like hell. There's some that are like, um, I think it's beta alanine that's in it. Yeah. And if you don't do anything, you just start fucking itching, dude. Mm. Like, like crazy. 
And then once you start moving those, like, uh, I took some, uh, my old stuff and had it in there. There was no stem. I was like, ah, well, I, I fucking need the boost to stay. I was doing some like, um, uh, just some fucking like whatever these are fucking called. But chest flies? Not chest flies. Uh, just this shit with some bar or some dumbbells. I don't know what the fuck it's called. The hip hop. The hip hop. This, this, this is how you do the hip hop. Yeah. But, uh, dude, no, all this right here, like mm-hmm. everything that was being activated, fucking hot. Like I could see my arms just red because it was just burning up. And then I just felt like, I was like, oh, I'm not taking that shit no more. Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing beats the feeling though after like a good fucking like arm workout feeling get that the pump that pump mm. and you're just like dude i feel like i could like wrestle a fucking bear like, oh. Oh. like but then this other motherfucker walks in the gym he just like comes in like hey what's up yeah <laughs> dude okay so let's let's go on to fucking talk about like some of the shit you see at gyms and shit because <laughs> sometimes this shit gets ridiculous my favorite fucking thing to mm-hmm. do is if you have access to tiktok most people do. Yeah. Just type in Planet Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> the shit you see that people do there yeah. is fucking... Look alarm. Uh, that, that shit was fucking... Well, I never actually heard that alarm go off, but... I, I, I don't think they have them anymore. I think they probably started getting rid of them because yeah. people were like, this is stupid. Like, yeah. people are going to make noise because it's just like what happened. Like, earlier today when I was fucking mm-hmm. doing my workouts, it helps you breathe. Just fucking get that, like, yeah. get that... Uh, it helps you not hold your breath because that's yeah. the problem. Like, uh, especially if you're doing like, uh, a squat or a deadlift and you're lifting heavy. Yeah. If you hold your breath, you're gonna fucking pass out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I see. I've saw a lot of photos. Uh, I saw this one video. It was just a. Co- it was a collab video of just different guys flexing in front of the mirror, and mm-hmm. then they're just like, "Oh God!" Yeah. And they just fucking. <laughs> they just fall back and hit their head yeah. on the fucking. When, Either the floor or equipment. And then some of them, when they hit their fucking head, dude. Yeah. Just, just hear, and they're just like. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite one I saw was this guy was at Planet Fitness, and he had two of, like, the, uh, res- uh, was it the resistant rope ones? Yeah. With the weights and shit. He just grabs two of them, and he's just running away from them. Like, he's sonic <laughs> running away. Like, he's trying to, like, yeah. see if he can pull the weight by running away mm. from it. And then he lets the weight push him back, like, woo. Like, it was like, what the fuck are you oh, did, Is it the one that's, like, hanging in them? Yeah. He's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, I know there's another one of a guy, like, that has all four. And he's, yeah. like, kind of, like, trying to starfish, <laughs> yeah. like, all of the fucking capes. Bro. bro, no, fucking talking about, like, the, like, you making a sound when you're working out. Yeah. Yeah, it helps you breathe. But then there's those people that just do it. Just to be fucking loud. Yeah. Like, there was one at the gym that I worked at in uh, Houston. Um, He would come in. This motherfucker felt like he was, you know, big shit on campus, man. He would walk in, literally just walk in like this. Mm-hmm. Bro was smaller than me. <laughs> he was just like, uh, Oh, God. Uh. And he had this little Asian wife of his, and she was not putting up with this shit. She was like, get in, do your workout. I'll wait over here. Fuck mm-hmm. it. And he'll walk always... He only ever did squats. I don't know if he went to another gym to do uh, arms or whatever. He only did squats at this gym. What the fuck? So he'd walk to a fucking uh, rack in the back. And if there was not a rack open, he'd be pacing that shit like a, like he's trying to like like be a predator. Damn. Yeah, and he's just like waiting for someone to open up. And he's all like, how many, how many more sets you got? How many more sets you got? And they just keep pacing, pacing, pacing. What the fuck? He's a fucking asshole. Maybe, um, maybe he only did like calisthenics for his upper body, and maybe. then and then because you can you can only well, like bulk up your legs so much through calisthenics. Yeah, well, the biggest part of his body was like his upper body, and it was because he was gaining weight. Okay, um, his legs were tiny. Oh, and shit. he would go over and he would load that shit up, dude. Like he would load fucking like three plates on each side. Oh shit! And he'll get over there. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> <laughs> and then. <laughs> and then drop but he'll only drop like three inches and then <laughs> everyone in the gym would just be watching him just what the fuck are you doing dude dude fucking people who uh ego lift is so oh, fucking God. ridiculous like you have to have like a certain like level of mental illness to think that you're just going to get away with like, 
Oh yeah, I can fucking yeah. I only weigh 120 pounds, but I'm gonna live. I'm gonna I'm fucking gonna the car. I'm gonna bench 300. I'm like, yeah. no, what the fuck, you ain't. And then they meet. You just see them like like lose all faith <laughs> in themselves as it comes down. Like I get it. Yeah. People don't want to feel weak, but the thing is. A lot of times, you're not going to get past a certain threshold. Yeah. Those people that ego lift when they're fucking uh, doing, like, a bench press, Ugh. and that shit slips out of their hands and just, like, comes down. You see their chest go, like, <sighs> compress. You know what I fucking hate, dude, Ugh. is seeing anybody that ever gets on the leg press and they push their knees. Oh, yeah. God. Uh, dude, you know how fucking dangerous that is? Yeah. Like if don't lock your legs. <laughs> oh my god! But people don't like they don't get it because mm-hmm. they're just like I gotta push this way. I'm gonna for-. like one. You're not even working your legs out anymore. You're literally <laughs> just forcing them to open to push the weight up. <laughs> Have you seen the videos of the guy? He's uh he's like he's a huge ego lifter. He'll put every single fucking plate you can find on a leg press. Is he the Hispanic guy? I think so. And he's oh. like, world record, world record, baby. And he'll like barely move it. And he's like, got it right there. That's a world record right there. And then uh, people are like, hey, you can't do that. And it's like, what are you scared? No, <laughs> just don't fucking do that. You're going to break the machines, you stupid fuck. Oh, is, it, is this guy like a white guy or a Hispanic dude? I think he was a Hispanic guy. Uh, if it's a Hispanic guy, then you're talking about El Campeon. That's the, he's a guy who, like, they've interviewed him before. They're like, mm. you know what you're doing is extremely dangerous, right? And like, you're not really effectively working out doing it this way. And he's just like, well, the thing is, I have a dream that eventually this won't be hard for me. That eventually, like, I feel like if I do it every single day, eventually I will be able to do it with ease. Mm. And they're like, well, it would make more sense to you to build your way up there. Yeah. But he, but he, like, has his method. Like, he's just like, no, this is just how I've always done it. This is how I like to do it. He watches a lot of anime, it sounds like. Uh, I, I have yeah. no idea. Like, this, <laughs> like, you've, like, when you hear it from him, you kind of feel bad because you're like, oh, he just wants to push himself. But he do- grave. he's never had the guidance. That's yeah. what it is. You don't have, like, that's, but, that's, that's something that sucks about going to the gym sometimes is if you don't have somebody helping you, a lot of times you don't know what to fucking do. Well, the thing that's good now, nowadays, gym culture isn't as toxic as it used to be. It's, it's if you ask for help now, well, I feel more like it, people will be like, yeah, sure, I can help you out. What's up? Yeah, but some of it has shifted a little bit. Yeah, well, no, like uh, the fucking, uh, like I want to sound like a fucking asshole for saying it, but like I feel the toxicity has switched over to more of the women's side now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're like, guys working, like the one, it's a guy, he's fucking blind. And he's just yeah. staring into the abyss that he sees every single day. And he's lifting weights. And this woman walks up to him, he says, and she's like, you need to stop staring at me. And he's like, ma'am, I'm blind. I can't see. <laughs> and she's like, well, you're still staring at me. And then she calls the manager over, and the manager's like, you need to get out. And he's like, bro, I'm fucking blind. I can't see. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> they still kicked him out. It's like, go be blind somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, no, like, and it's because she, it's like, she thought that he was looking at her. Mm-hmm. And even though he told her, like, bitch, I'm blind. Like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck you look like. You can be some ugly motherfucker, and I don't even know. Yeah. I and, see, like, that's, yeah. a, that's the thing you get a lot online is you see, like, People getting mad when people walk into frame because they're trying to film themselves working out. Oh, I was like, God, I hate that. Like, dude. look, if you want to film yourself working out, you should expect that people are around you at yeah. the gym. And if you get a home gym, yeah, if you don't want people getting in the way, then yeah, fucking invest into your own equipment and do it from home. Yeah. But that's the thing, man. Like, people now in like more than ever in like the digital age, mm-hmm. people need other people to know what they're doing at all times. God, yeah. And that's the thing that sucks. Uh, having to like get adjusted to like internet shit. Cause you know, mm-hmm. obviously we record a podcast. We need to get out there for people to find the podcast, yeah. but it's notice us. <laughs> but the thing is, it's so against my nature to try to like put things out there because I try to keep my life as private as possible. Yeah. Cause the truth, truth be told, there's only so much I'm willing to share. I'm trying to get out of that mindset because I feel like maybe I put myself in that mindset because uh, I guess when I was younger, I felt like nobody really would care. Yeah. But realistically for me, I just feel like it's a waste of time. It's a, it's a waste of time to be somewhere 
that you should be enjoying and then just having your phone there the whole fucking time. Like, yeah, like it, when you go to a concert, you see all these people holding up their phones, recording it. Yeah. You're never going to watch that video. Yeah. That, I think that's why a lot of venues or a lot of artists are doing the Yonder Bags for where they like they lock up your phone whenever you go to an event. Oh. That's why they're doing it. It's not just that, but it's also it creates a safe place for the artist because a lot of times, you know, something could happen and if it gets mm-hmm. on video, you know, they could get, you know, teased for it online or like yeah, I know that 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 happened a lot with comedians a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. People will record their set put it on youtube they're still on tour with this material and you're just putting it out there for everybody to see that's bad for them because then people are going to learn their whole set and they're going to be like where's the new material at and like a lot of comedians use the same material for over like a year to a year and a half yeah they they run a show yeah they have a show and the other thing is if they say something super offensive that (laughs) makes sense because it's like a punchline to something yeah it can be taken out. It can be taken out of context. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the other problem. Yeah, like half of the shit that we say on here. Yeah, just cut out the joke part. It sounds like we're just fucking racist pieces of shit. Pretty much. <laughs> Tiananmen Square. Also, I've I've also noticed that there's been a big big issue lately at live shows with people throwing shit at the stage. Oh yeah. People like because like. I get it. Like in the past, it used to never be like that big of a deal because some sometimes people would like you know some shows girls throw their bras or they'll yeah. throw flowers at an artist they love, but now people are throwing their fucking phones at yeah. which because apparently this all started as a trend because I don't know which artist it was, but somebody threw their phone at an artist. The artist had caught the phone. And took a selfie with it with the crowd and then threw it back into the crowd. Mm. And ever since it created this whole craze of people wanting to recreate that. But the thing is, nobody wants to fucking do that. If I was an artist, I'd be up there and I'd have a bat. Yeah. So when someone throws a phone, just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I've seen a variation of that happen a lot where people are just throwing shit on the fucking stage and like I remember one of my favorite videos was uh, it was a Tyler the Creator concert somebody threw a book on stage and oh, he was like who yeah. the fuck threw this book and then he like reads the description of the book and he's like man whoever threw this is lame as fuck and he just <laughs> yeah. throws the fucking book <laughs> away and he's just like don't throw shit on the stage like seriously like what the fuck is wrong with yeah. y'all it's just dangerous too cuz like a phone being thrown it's it's dangerous yeah it's heavy if it hits you in the fucking, it, that happened it hits to, you in the eye. That happened to an artist recently. She got hit in the head and she had to get stitches because it like it cracked her. Like, oh it really? Crack, yeah, it cracked her like eyebrow open. Oh, that sucks. And uh, I don't know what artist it was, but some I know some things are just fucking go too far. I think I don't know for sure if it was her, but I think it was Pink, the artist Pink. Somebody threw their grandmother's ashes on stage that was in a Ziploc bag. The fuck. Cause she picked it up and she's like, "What is this?" And the and she's asking the person who threw it, and she's like, "I don't know how I feel about that. Why would you like? I don't know if it was her. I think it might have been a different artist, but still, yeah. the fact that you went to a concert and you're like, this I'm gonna throw where my grandma's gonna rest <laughs> at the feet of Pink. Yeah, her which favorite. is gonna get washed away at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that's gonna happen. They're just gonna come in with a power wash. And just <laughs> imagine you do. Imagine a guy being like." Man, my father, he was a really fucking big fan of uh, the Wu-Tang Clan. I'm going to throw his ashes at them. See if all, not every single one of them beats your fucking yeah, ass. No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, let's get back to Jim. Yeah, yeah, We yeah, went yeah. on music again. No, oh, God. <laughs> We're not talking about music ever again on this show. Like Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. You know. Well, but, let's talk music and Jim. Mm. Do you listen to music or do you don't? Um... Do you have your headphones on or no? Typically, yes, because yeah. I need a, I need a, I need a zone out. What do you I, listen to? Um, sometimes I'll listen to a podcast. Really? Uh, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah, I do it all the time, bro. Uh, uh, literally, like when I was working out earlier, I was listening to the Manhattan Project Less Blood podcast oh, really? on the left. Yeah, bro, that shit gotten deep. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's a, long. Lot. it's a, it's a. There's a lot. It's like a six parter. Yeah, it's what I, think I noticed. Have one more part. Yeah, I'm still. I'm. I'm I just barely got to part three because I've. Oh uh, yeah. I was waiting to see if the whole thing was gonna drop. Then I was gonna just listen to it continuously. Because mm. I, I. I hate fucking waiting yeah. for shit. I mean, they're each like two hours long too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. But no, yeah, like I can't do podcasts. <laughs> My favorite 
thing to listen to though for some reason it's the uh it's my retro wave workout uh podcast oh. or not podcast it's the uh playlist. playlist the picture of it it's just arnold schwarzenegger and he's just like flexing <laughs> yeah and it's all just like old school like synth and retro uh wave music yeah my old go-to when i first started like ever trying to work out like back in like the like 2010s, yeah. like when I was like out of high school and I was just like, I should probably maintain my weight at a certain level, which back then was probably the best shape I was in. It was like after I met my wife, you know, the whole like meme mm-hmm. of like you fell in love. So you just you ain't got trying no more. You just got, <laughs> yeah. You just got fat. Yeah. And, um, my go-to was always uh rage against the machine. No, nice. I used to always put on battle for Los Angeles or, um, uh, was it evil empire? Just, have them on loop what really helped me when i first started working out and it doesn't help me that much anymore now um i would listen to motivational like speeches and shit yeah yeah and like bro some of them would be like dude put on some fucking david goggins it was just him fucking talking that mad shit of him being like you know it's like what do you want to be you want to be a fucking loser or do you want to be somebody like you know that kind of shit that shit gets you going yeah and i had one it was just it was just this uh I forgot who it was. This is, you, you can tell the guy was this big old black dude. You should go, wake the fuck up. Get the fuck out there. He's like, okay, I'm running now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> working out in the morning. Quit being a bitch and come on. <laughs> yeah. Working out in the morning has been good. Because yeah. uh, it helps me. It's been helping me cut my caffeine back. Mm-hmm. So I haven't been drinking coffee as much. And uh, it, I just feel more alert throughout the day. Yeah, dude. And, and the, then I sleep hard. Like, I'll, I'll go to bed tonight. Bro, I want to sleep so fucking good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was falling asleep before you, like, uh, showed up. Oh, me too. <laughs> yeah, but the thing was, it's because I, I worked out around three or four. And then I went in my new favorite fucking thing after a workout. Cold ass fucking shower, that baby. It fucking gets you all jolted up again. Mm. Like it's like it's like it's like getting a second wind. Yeah. It almost makes me want to work out again. But then I'm like, I'm just gonna get sweaty again. I can't be taking baths all day. Bro, you're gonna get fucking jacked in a week. Huh? <laughs> get jacked in a week. Just keep taking a shower, working out, taking a shower, work out. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's so clean. <laughs> just scrub all the hair off of my fucking head. Yeah, I look like Mister Clean. <laughs> <laughs> But no, like I'm I mean, on that uh, G boss shit. Just show up dressed like fucking Andrew Tate. <laughs> I finally get it, guys. Like, <laughs> no, but uh, push the fucking chick out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. No, but like um, taking a shower at the gym. Um, I remember like uh, here there's like it's actual like a room. It's like it's the bathroom, but mm-hmm. it has a shower in there, so it's nice. It's private. It's great. I remember taking a shower at the at the gym in Houston. Because I would work out in the morning, uh, uh, take a shower, and then go to my actual job. The the gym was like a side job I was doing. Mm-hmm. The weirdest fucking people, dude. Weird. And then, like, there was one guy. He was this old guy. He would just sit around naked. <laughs> but, like, for, like, an hour. What the fuck? Like, he's just drip drying that shit, I guess. Oh, my God. And, and he's just, like, chilling. Like, I'll dress. I'll go, like, like it'll be on the weekends, usually. I'll go. I'll I'll work out early. I I had the keys to the place because we closed. Yeah. So I'll go in an hour early, open the door, lock it behind me, and do a workout myself. That way I have the gym to my fucking self. I'll go do uh, take my shower, go open the gym up. As soon as he opens up, 7 in the morning, he fucking walks in. He does like a little treadmill walk. He does a few little arm flies and shit. And then he goes to take a shower. And then I have to go do make my rounds. Do you think uh, he's like a closeted gay old man? No, I think he's just... Just chilling, like he just doesn't have anything better to do, so he's just like, I'm just gonna. Yeah, chill. he was like in his like his seventies or eighties, so I think he was just because he had the. I knew he was that old because he had the. Uh, they called it the silver sneakers card, mm-hmm. and it's for what they give the old people. And yeah. It gives them like a very discounted or free membership, mm-hmm. so it's good, cool. They're keeping them in shape that way they live longer, or they're they're healthier. And he was moving and grooving for an older guy, but he would just sit there like nothing. He's not bugging anyone. Like I walk in, I'll be like. You all right, sir? Yeah, I'm just hanging out. And he'd be like, they had a TV there. And he'll just be watching the TV. <laughs> he wasn't homeless or anything. Yeah. And it was just crazy. We did have one. Fuck, dude. I had one fucking lady. She would come in 10 minutes before we closed every Friday and Saturday night. And she would go take a shower. And she would be in there for like 40 fucking minutes. And I learned very quickly that if I see her come in, I have to tell her, no, 
the the showers are closed. Like, get out of here. Mm -hmm. I felt bad because I think she was homeless. But for some reason, after she took a shower, she... I don't know where the fuck she would get it. She had a bottle of, like, canola or vegetable oil all over the floors. She would just walk backwards and put it all over the floors in the showers. We had a lady fall. <laughs> b b yeah. But why? Just because. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, she's like, I'm clean, but the shower's getting older. <laughs> and, bro, she did that shit. It took fucking forever for us to clean that shit. Oh, up, my dude. God. She's just trying to turn into a fucking slip and slide. I guess. But, yeah, she, it got dangerous. Like, a lady fell and busted her ass. It was fucking crazy. Like, we had that. And then we had a guy pop a boner when one of the uh, the trainers was working. Up, yeah. And uh, we had to kick his ass out. Dude, uh, this reminds yeah. me, like, a couple of years back, we saw, like, in a newspaper, we were, we were all looking at, this person had got caught trying to put a camera into the Planet Fitness, mm. like, um, the Planet Fitness locker room, the girls' locker room, yeah. right? Uh, and we were looking at the person who got arrested, and was like, wait a minute, we went to school with this guy, <laughs> and we looked him up on our yearbook, and it's was like, what the fuck? Like, what's yeah. crazy is, like, I remember this guy. Was and it weird? He, no. It was just kind of like nobody, it, I guess nobody, like, I don't. I wouldn't say that like nobody talked to him. I'm sure he had his own group of friends and stuff. But he was he, just a face in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. And he just decided to do this shit out of fucking nowhere, which is just mind-bending because I'm just like, bro, you know there's like tons of porn online, right? Yeah. Someone's already done this, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, somebody's already done this. Yeah. Some people have dramatized it yeah it made it's it even legal better. yeah <laughs> but uh, god dude we had um what is it we had one almost fight breakout uh, the whole time i was there which is crazy because it was houston you would expect there to be fucking fights all the time yeah but it was because a guy dropped like a weight on top of another guy's bag and then like broke a bunch of his shit oh shit yeah and it was an accident like the guy's like bro i'm sorry but the other guy was all fucking like he's ready to fucking go he's all rated up and shit Oh, you think he was on the stuff? No, he was. You can tell his back looked like fucking the moon, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, he was all cratered up and shit. Damn. And he, he I mean, he was a cool guy, but like that first, that when we saw him like that, it was like, hey, bro, you're going to have to fucking calm down. You can't, car you can't come here no more. Yeah. Uh, But yeah, like they were about to go fucking at it. And it was like, bro, it was an accident. Like mm -hmm. he didn't see your bag there. First of all, you shouldn't have bags on the fucking floor. So that's on you. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And then I had a coworker. All she did, for some reason, I don't know how it worked out. She only worked like one day a week, mm -hmm. and she would come in every day, in all like her gym gear. She's wearing like her Lululemons and everything, and she was she was banging. But she would come in, do like the the leg behind, looking over the shoulder butt pose that mm -hmm. Instagrammers do. Take a bunch of pictures, post them, and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> she didn't even work out. No, there. she didn't work out. Oh, she just had great genetics. Yeah. <laughs> or, or maybe she worked out somewhere fucking else. But, yeah, that's all she would do. That's so weird. Yeah. It, it doesn't make sense that what, what, why? Like, just take them at home. Yeah. Like, in your in your workout gear. Like, it doesn't make, okay, yeah. whatever. She just wanted the gym pictures to be like, ah, uh, workout. Yeah. Yeah, but that means you're paying for a membership just well, she to take worked photos. There, so oh, she worked there. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But, like, the, that's the thing. She only worked there, like, once a fucking week. She didn't do shit, for one. Um... And she would just come in and take pictures. And that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I remember um, that's one thing that you'll see a lot um, at the gym is, like, you'll sometimes bump into, like, ladies who have been working out for fucking years that just have that rockin' bod, mm -hmm. you know? Because, you know, they, they like, at an early age understood that, like, oh, if I work out every day, I can yeah. maintain a fucking hell of a figure, you know? Because some people, I get it, some people don't have to. They just have fucking great genetics and they can just yeah. look good for a long time. But girls who don't have that privilege, you know, they have to work their asses off and they end up having like amazing bods mm -hmm. and you see them in there and you're just like, man, whose mom is this? Like I'm about to fucking become a stepdad. Like <laughs> I'm about to treat your kids good. All right. Yeah. But I'm like, what motivates a woman <laughs> at the, I'm sorry. Have you seen that fucking uh, post? It's like when you, uh, when you're, uh, when your mom starts dating a guy, and, like, you see the guy walk in, and you're, like, the little kid, and you look up at him, and he's like, man, you want a PS5? 
Oh, yeah. I'm going to take care of you, You man. deserve a game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to step up for you, man. <laughs> you don't understand what I just <laughs> experienced. Like... <laughs> <laughs> that guy's funny as hell. Yeah. Every fucking clip he puts out. He's the one that did the whole, like, um, uh, going in for your prosthetic, pro- prostate exam. Yeah. And he's, like, lifting a weight with his fingers. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, hold on. Hold, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Yeah. No, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> Do you feel that? Do you feel that? Hey. <laughs> Yo, brother, do you feel? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, did you see the other one I sent you about the Willy Wonka thing? No, I sent it to you. I think today it was uh, it just. Uh, I think it was him actually. It's uh, they're talking about like the new uh, what is the name? Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shyamalama, whatever the fuck his name is. Sh- uh, Timothy yeah. Chal- Chalamet. Yeah, Chalamet. Chalamet. Yeah, he was in that new Dune movie that yeah. was kind of okay. I haven't seen it yet. It's it's okay. Like yeah. the the problem is it's the beginning. Like mm-hmm. I don't know. I think I don't know if it's gonna be a trilogy, but you know it. Like it's just like the setup for the next shit. Oh yeah, it had, but it a had a bunch of them. It had a lot of cool shit in it. Like I yeah. was like, this looks kind of cool. It's definitely like a step up from the original Dune movie. It has Zendaya in it? Huh? <laughs> I love Zendaya. Yeah, I know, dude. Yeah. That's my mixed queen. Who yeah. are you talking about? Oh, she's pretty cute. But she's fucking banging. Yeah, but uh, no, like. <laughs> So it's like he's he's posing as Timothy Chalamet. He's like, oh, I'm going to make chocolate and give it to all the kids. And then it cuts to uh, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, uh, mm. Gene Wilder version. And he's like, I'll kill the motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, that's terrible. Like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh Oh, God. It's, it's crazy every iteration, how they keep changing the name. Like The first one, Gene Wilder. That's Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. No, that's Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Huh? That's Charlie in the Chocolate. No, Charlie Factory. in the Chocolate Factory is the Johnny Depp one. No, that's Willy Wonka. No, you got him backwards, no. dog. Look it up. <laughs> I'll look it up. <laughs> uh, Let's look it up. Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah, I told I was you. Wrong. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you for not believing me. No, I don't believe right. you. See, I told you. I was right about COVID. I was right about... The- <laughs> Bro. Fucking COVID. That's another thing. Uh, like, gyms after COVID. Oh, God. I've never cleaned so much in my life. Yeah, dude. I remember um, the lock the, the lockdown did start to, like, give us a little bit of cabin fever. Mm-hmm. fever. And I know, remember, like, we, we, we signed up for a gym... That was close by. That was finally opening up when things were starting to like calm down a little yeah, bit, right? Yeah. And but they still like they weren't enforcing masks, but they highly encouraged it. Yeah. So I mean, of course, we would go with a mask if we had like an area to ourselves. You know, working out in a mask fucking sucked. Yeah, it it did. Yeah. But I mean, you know, we were trying to be safe nonetheless. But like they like on the hour by like every mm-hmm. hour they were like spraying down every fucking machine, wiping everything the fuck down. Yeah. Which I mean is great, <laughs> like, like I don't see why it wasn't a thing before to have cleaning products for the people that work out. Yeah, because there's some motherfuckers out there that just sweat like pigs, dude. Did you hear about that shit about guys getting chlamydia from the gym? Oh yeah, because girls weren't wiping down the mm-hmm. fucking seats, and they they apparently it's a thing. They're that- running over there. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, it's some of that probably but the they thing pink guys shit but it's it's also apparently is some girls will go to the gym wearing like tight leggings but with no underwear yeah. and they're sweating because they have liners on them but that doesn't cover yeah shit. and they're sweaty yeah. their sweaty pussies getting all over the seat and they're just leaving it there and they're dirty yeah yeah G- get your pussy clean wash your pussy yeah why is that so hard you know how you know how deep i scrub my nuts like i get in there yeah. deep like i make i want them pristine Again, you- smelling good <laughs> yeah it's like you're trying to start a fire just it, <laughs> exactly yeah but no, I do the brain and then I like wipe it like a fucking like like a crystal ball. You have to polish, but you can't do it too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god! But no, just the cleaning products have been great. Like I enjoy those. Like because sometimes you get on a piece of equipment mm-hmm. uh, at the gym in Houston, bro. That shit was stinks to fi- high fucking heaven, dude. Like, I, it just people just stink. And then we had we had one motherfucker. I was like. I know the stereotypes out there. It's not always true, but it was this Indian guy. <laughs> Bro. But th- we had to stop him at the door and be like, if you're not wearing deodorant, you can't come in here. 
Because he would come in stinky. Yeah. And he would literally leave a trail of stink throughout the fucking place. You wouldn't know what day, what his workout was because you can follow the stench. <laughs> what the fuck? It was always on Monday, it was to the treadmill. And then he would switch to another treadmill for some reason. And then he would go work shoulders. And then he he's would just go to the spread, cables. He's just spreading the stink. Like, Dude, no. Like, literally, people will walk by on his, like, pathway. Yeah, like, yeah, after yeah. he walked there, like, five minutes ago and be like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a cultural thing, right? Um, I think so, actually. Like, for some of them. But some of them are just fucking gross. I think it's a cultural thing because I know uh, there's, like, this gas station, like, near my mom's house where the owners mm. there, like, we knew them for fucking years, dog. Yeah. Because, like, because uh, that gas station burnt down at one point and it got <laughs> rebuilt. Yeah, like, something happened. I think they had, like, uh, I don't know. Insurance. They, they got hit with some Jewish lightning and then after <laughs> the... <laughs> You can't say that. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's what it's called. <laughs> I got that term from the bear when they were like, oh. Did you watch that shit? Yeah, I watched the first season. I'm on season two now. Oh, bro, that second season. Yeah. Uh, we finished it, and God, dude, I can't wait for the next season. Yeah, yeah, it's a great show. Yeah. But again, these terms are still being used in media today. Like, so chill the fuck out. But even on the show, they're like, you can't fucking say that, Richie. <laughs> yeah, it's, fu- it's funny. It's, uh, it's funny. Like, I work with... Um, one of one of the guys who's in charge of like my shift, he's an older Jewish guy, right? Yeah, he told and me he's about him, always yeah. saying some like something Jew related about himself, right? But it's funny as soon as you say a Jewish joke, he's like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa!" You can't say that. I'm like, "Oh, I just did," and he'd just be like, "Come eye on you," you know? Because <laughs> one day, um, one day we were working and it was hot as hell in the building, mm-hmm. and we have like climate control in the building, right? But sometimes, like, when, like, the peak hits, you know, that AC slows the fuck down for a quick second, and then it eventually picks back up and cools mm-hmm. the place down, right? But it, I was, like, sweating in there, right? And then uh, he came by, and he's like, damn, it's hot as fuck in here. And so I was like, yeah, can you call your people, tell them to change this up a little bit? He's like, what are you talking about? He's like, y'all don't control the weather? And then he was just like, you motherfucker. <laughs> if I was him, I'd just be walking around on hard days like that. Yeah. And uh, like earshot to all the managers, and just be singing that song for Prince, uh, 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 Prince of Egypt. Yeah, Deliverance. <laughs> and he was he was telling me some crazy shit the other day because he was just like, he was like, "Who do you bank with?" I was like, I told him what bank I was. He's like, "Damn it!" I was ho- hopefully you. I was thinking that maybe you didn't have that bank. I was like, "Why?" He was like, "Oh, it's because uh, I found out recently that if uh, you open up an account with them and you just keep like." Five hundred dollars in the account for a month, they'll double it for you. He's like, "What?" He's like, "Huh? For real?" He's like, "Yeah, I've opened like three accounts." <laughs> like, what the fuck? You can't do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can, but yes, he he was opening and then closing accounts. He was making money off this bank because apparently he's like, the way I see it is, you're giving the bank your money, they're yeah. loaning your money out, and they're paying you to loan that money out, mm-hmm. so it's fair game. And then he was like, "Oh shit." I was like, really? He's like, yeah. He's like, you can also do it at this other bank, but they only do like if you have to keep in a hundred and they give you two hundred back. So you're still making a two hundred like dollar gain. And he was breaking it down. He was like, if you go to this bank and this bank, I was like, how many fucking accounts do you have right now? He's like, I have five. <laughs> I was like, why do you have five bank accounts? And he's like, I have to hide money for myself. <laughs> and he's like, why? And he's like, it's just an old Jew thing. I was like. Like, that's what he's telling me, and, and and this is coming from a Jewish man too. Mm-hmm. So it's not racist. He's just like, it's just, it's. Well, I mean, yeah, the stereotypes. It's sad, like that. The like like people are fucking assholes and make these stereotypes a thing and everything. Yeah. But then, like my old buddy uh, at work too, he's Jewish, or he came from a Jewish family, and he used to be like into Jewish shit. Into Jewish shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's real into Jewish shit. <laughs> he's Jewish. <laughs> But, uh, no, like, um, that is the thing I've heard people say. It's like, I'm Jewish yeah. as in like, I come from a Jew family, but I don't practice Judaism. Yeah. But like, uh, he was talking about like, uh, whenever I talked to him, I was like, Hey man, we're going to go out to eat here. You want to come? He's like, no, I brought my own food. What the fuck are you talking about? Why am I going to go pay someone to make me food? He's like, it's just to hang out. He's like, I'll just go and tag along. <laughs> and he just will sit there. 
And it was just like maybe buy a drink and that's about it. Dude, I had like one buddy used to do that shit all the fucking time. We'd always go hang out on the mm-hmm. weekend, right? And we're like, fuck it, let's go hit up a bar. Let's go get some wings. Let's get some drinks, right? And he'd be like, nah, not tonight, dog. I'm like, dude, you say that like every fucking night. Yeah. Just come out, get a couple of drinks. Just get like two drinks. You don't have to get any more than mm-hmm. that. And he's like, I'll go, but, I mean, I'll just grab some water, I guess. I was like, you motherfucker. Like, don't do that. Yeah. And then, of course, we all throw in to get, like, the big old platter of wings. And he's digging in, too? No, he's oh, okay. he's, he's refusing to eat because he didn't p- p- chip in, you know, because he wants to be respectful. But we're like, bro, get some fucking wings. Like, mm-hmm. like, I, like I get it. You want to be, like, careful with your money because, like, yeah. he, he doesn't work, like, a super, like, um, well-paying job, mm-hmm. so he has to be very careful with his money, which I get. But like, loosen up once in a bit. You can afford yeah. like to spend twelve dollars to like you know get you a little plate of wings or like a beer or two. Yeah. You know, I get it. it t- times are tough, but mm-hmm. you have to still find time to enjoy yourself. Like right now, I've been like hyper focused on saving my money, but shit, we just got a beach trip booked. We're going in oh, nice. fucking we're going in August and Oh, to that one place? Uh that you were saying? No, no, no. We we changed it. We were originally gonna go to fucking Florida, but mm-hmm. because of everything that's happening, we said fuck Florida. Yeah. So instead we're going to good old South Carolina. Woo <laughs> <laughs> Because that's the only other option we had. Yeah. Um surprisingly it was actually gonna be cheaper for us to go to Florida. Because yeah, no one's fucking going. I know. And it was almost tempting. I was almost like, ah, like I want to do the morale decision, but I also am kind of broke. <laughs> I'm going to do the, the, the right thing, but I still have my papers. So yeah, I can yeah. go. Yeah, I know. It's, it's funny. I've, you know how many people <laughs> have gone to Florida that are from our family? Yeah. A that, lot. Down my sister just, went. Yeah. They're down there like, woo. Yeah. There's no one fucking there, dude. I know. Yeah, like it sucks. It's like a bunch of like uh the I saw like a TikTok and it was talking about like uh, yeah what was it like Daytona Beach I think that's in Florida yeah uh Miami and shit like that all these places fucking ghost towns and then like restaurants and stores are having to like only do like half week they're open maybe like less hours yeah like Daytona Beach uh yeah. was a Panama City Beach yeah fucking um. Uh, Clearwater, Florida, yeah. all these places. I did not know Clearwater, Florida was the center hub for fucking Scientologists. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that either. All right. That's where we were going to go. Ooh. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck, we might have got brainwashed. Yeah. <laughs> Easy pickings, man. Yeah. There ain't no one there to hear you scream. But no, like, I bet right now they got some pretty good deals going on. <laughs> Probably. You and know. that's the thing, like, it's tempting, but, like, for the sake of, like, what I believe in, I'm refusing to go until uh, at least they get rid of fucking Ron DeSantis' dumbass. Yeah. Like, I get it. Like, Florida has always been a Republican state, and it has very anti-immigrant shit. Yeah, I feel like if Ron DeSantis gets voted out, the next person that goes in isn't going to change shit. They're no. probably going to stick with the same policies because they're going to come from the same fucking uh, side. Yeah. Because they're not going to let a fucking Democrat take Florida. Oh, dude, did you watch Tom Segura's new special? No, I haven't yet. Dude, you need to watch it. Right, He's got a it. joke in there where he brings up, like, a one of those types. Yeah. And uh, it it's a funny-ass fucking joke. And uh, people said that it got caught, cut out of the Netflix special, but I'm like, no, because I watched it. Yeah. Because uh, his special came out on 4th of July, but I watched, like, a couple of days after that. I think I watched it, like, on, like, that Friday is mm. like what well, 4th of July was on a Tuesday, right? That'd be crazy if they cut it out. Cause that's a, uh... that'd be censorship. Yeah. That's infringing on his rights. Yeah. But no, like, I, I mean, I would understand if he's over there talking like, Oh yeah, I fucked a lot of kids and like, like in a serious tone. Yeah. Then yeah. Cut that shit out and maybe cancel the special. But... Yeah. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah. You, you've obviously <laughs> never seen Louis CK live. He says some pretty fucked up. No, but shit. That's, the thing is like, that's part of his like, shit yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like it's part of his material but if someone's like dead up their series is like i love kids it's like oh, all right we're gonna just get out of here no so the whole thing was like um well don't tell it no 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 like no no, no i'm not gonna reveal the joke yeah, what i'm sued man no what i'm saying <laughs> is like the whole joke was him like talking about uh uh a famous person that he lives mm. close to and it's a particular person that everyone already knows is weird, but he doesn't reveal his name until the very end of that joke. Mm. 
And the thing was, is when people heard the joke, they were just like, what? Like, he really, like, was this an actual interaction that he had? And uh, it's funny to think about it because it's like, it's only confirming that the fact that this person is a weird fuck. Yeah. So, you know. Is it Ron DeSantis? No. Okay. It's not. Okay. Let's because he's okay. a weird fucking. Anyway. I'll put some. I'll put a little bit of contest. Uh, uh, he was talking about the new neighborhood he lives in, and mm. he recently moved to Austin, Texas. Oh, fun! Yeah, so it's a Texas politician. Mm. Nice. Is anyway, there a wheelchair ramp. Uh, no, moving okay. on. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll tie it back into Jim. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Who's the, that? You know who Marjorie Taylor Greene is. No. She's one of the Congress uh, women out of Georgia that's just, like, really fucking shit up and just being really fucking annoying. Oh, for some reason, I thought that was, like, uh... She looks like a caveman. She has blonde hair. Uh, fuck, I don't remember. She's been... She was caught on camera, and they haven't proved it yet, but it's fucking her that she threw a fucking uh, Molotov into a building. But, you know. What the fuck? I haven't done anything about it yet. Yeah, but, yeah. uh Here's the thing, she, like, I do not keep enough with politics to remember everybody's fucking name. I just, just I remember the key weirdos. Mm-hmm. And, and she's one of them, bro. I'm sure she is, but, like, some names are easy to remember. I'll tell you this. She just got kicked out last week of her for our alt-right group that she's part of. Yeah, she got kicked out of it because she's too wild. What the fuck? Yeah, they were like, yeah, it's, we're going to separate ourselves from you. And they did it like a like a full vote under wraps, and then they came out like someone was doing an interview with someone, and it came out that yeah they. Oh, well, was she a out. fucking proud boy or some shit? No, she was part of this uh, like ultra white right wing group. Um, it, it's the group that was like, they're the ones who were all about Obama showing his birth certificate. <laughs> yeah, no, like that was how they got like like any like kind yeah. of recognition. Yeah. Um, but yeah. he's clearly a Muslim. A Muslim. <laughs> Who names your kid Obama? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, she uh, she works out too apparently, and uh, she divorced her husband because she was having tantric sex with her uh, personal fitness guy. Tantric and sex. Was tantric it? sex. It's like sex, but like all freaky deaky shit. Uh, Not like you know, like pegging or shit like that. It's like. Oh, for some reason, I thought it's like having sex with like through the dick hole, like in the underwear. <laughs> what? Yeah. No, just so, look up tantric sex later. Okay. Just look it up later. Okay. But uh, because I need that on my Google search history. You have other shit on there. I have worse things on yeah, there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but uh, no, she uh, she works out, air quotes, mm-hmm. and uh, she has a video of her online where she's doing pull ups. And she's a crossfitter. So she's just kipping the fuck out of that bar. She's doing the... <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen those videos where they're just like... <laughs> they're literally using their body's momentum to kind of lift themselves up. Yeah. And then the the videos that are funny on uh, on this, like the fail compilation and yeah. shit, is when people are doing that and they drop too hard and their hands slip off of it and it literally just like throws them to the ground. And yeah. those are the best. <laughs> but that's what she does. So I remember one of the weirdest fitness things I ever saw was this one guy who was like, I want to try something to see if it actually works. So he devoted like a whole year of him learning just to walk on all fours to where oh, he, yeah. he developed like crazy core strength and he could yeah. run on all fours. And it yeah. was so fucking weird. But he was just like, yeah, after learning how to just constantly walk on my, like on all four limbs, mm-hmm. he's like, he developed an insane amount of just fucking core strength. Yeah. And then he was just like, I think this is actually a beneficial way to get fucking strong. Yeah. No, bro. He had like, fucking, <laughs> like he looked like a fucking like, gorilla yeah like his, you see his chest and his shoulders they're fucking capped and then like he said he had to work out his hands a lot because like the pressure of that being on his hands yeah but then he's, he he was fucking jack yeah, yeah yeah um it's like a new like calisthenic thing that he was just trying out because yeah. like cal- people who only do calisthenic workouts are fucking stupid mm-hmm. strong like the way they 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 throw themselves because i remember one of the times that I went to the gym with you when you're going to that one like mm-hmm. gym in town, right? There was that one guy that was just always doing pull ups there. And oh, he was yeah. he was always just doing like up the bar, down the bar, and then yeah. he'd be hanging, doing like leg lifts and shit. Yeah. Like 
all like he I never saw him on any equipment. He was just there like he paid a membership just to hold on to a bar. Mm-hmm. It's like, bro, it can't be that expensive to have a bar. Was it the black guy, right? Uh no. Actually I remember I don't remember him being black. I remember he was a different um, unless there was more than one. Maybe there yeah, was, there was more one. one. There was a black guy and there was an Asian guy that would do yeah, that yeah. a lot. But um I was gonna say something, but I completely forgot. I remember what, at one of my first jobs, there used to be this one black dude that, that was fucking stupid mm-hmm. jacked. He was really small. Like, he was short, but he was just, like, he had the V-shaped build. And yeah. he was just so fucking, like, strong. He was crazy as hell. Um, he had a he, he had a weird street name. I do not remember what the street name was, but it was goofy sounding as fuck, right? And they used to say that, like, oh, yeah, we grew up with him in the neighborhoods and shit. Because, you know, this is, like, this job was, like, right in, like, the ghetto, right? Yeah. And um, they were like, oh, yeah, he, uh, we grew up with him. He's always been fucking wild and shit like that. And it's like, has he always been working out? How the fuck did he get so goddamn buff? And they're like, they all, like, stared at me. And they, uh, at the same time, they all went, prison. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, shit, what do you get locked up for? He's like, have you seen the motherfucker? He's crazy. Like, he's just crazy. <laughs> like, what hasn't he got locked up for? Yeah. Uh, it's funny. That same guy got fired from that job because he ended up crushing his hand under, like, some equipment. And he was refusing to go take a drug test. And eventually they were like, if you don't take the drug test, you're going to get fired regardless. So he said, fuck it. Let's roll the dice. And <laughs> our, it, supervi- our supervisor came back and they're like, you're not going to believe this. It's like, what happened? He's like, he had (laughs) cocaine, meth, alcohol, and just, like, painkillers. Like, he had a lot of shit in his system. Like, he had, like, and and, and weed, of course. Yeah. He's like, this guy was just rolling up everything in one. Like, fucking (laughs) Advil, like, (laughs) Advil gel caps. Like, he was fucking smoking (laughs) everything. (laughs) That's funny. Tylenol AM, Tylenol PM. Like, he was just doing it He's all. Work. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I remember uh, around that time, that's when that fucking um, spice shit was going around. Oh, when yeah. When people were buying, like, the synthetic weed. It wasn't the fucking... salvia and all that shit. Yeah, it was, yeah. No, it wasn't salvia. I know this, like, they used to always call it Gucci. And there, it's because one of the yeah. first ones that came out used to come, like, in a package that just said Gucci on yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. But I remember um, they they used to package it all. Because what it, what it was meant for is, like, they advertised it as potpourri. But you only found it at, like, smoke shops. So I'm like, why would you buy potpourri yeah. at a smoke shop? You bust it open, and it literally looks like weed. But the thing is... There's nothing weed about it. I think it literally was just a random plant that they dried out and they sprayed chemical shit on it, and that's what they sold. But um, it's yeah, like synthetic shit. Man. We worked. I worked there with one of our cousins who used to smoke it all the time. I will tell Jesus. you who, which which cousin it was yeah, later. Really? Um, but anyways, um, <laughs> you know, we're, we're telling your mom. <laughs> no, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll fucking tell right, you right now. Down, right down. The... Show it to the camera. Oh, of course it was him. Yeah, of course. Yeah, God, of fucking course. <laughs> we don't got to tell your mom. <laughs> yeah. No, everybody knew. Yeah. That motherfucker was crazy. But anyways. Isn't he in prison again? No, he's actually been out for a while. Is he? Yeah. When's he going back? <laughs> <laughs> I guess whenever they just f- decide to look up his ass and yeah, find really. something. But anyways. Um... <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> huh? Is that what happened? What? They looked up his ass and vessel? No, 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 oh, okay. no, no. no. I, he got in trouble for some other shit. I think he like pulled a gun on somebody. Oh, fun. I I think it's so assault with a deadly weapon. Uh, yeah, actually, or not assault. It's attempted assault. Actually, I should probably clarify. He pulled a gun and shot it at his sister. Oh, yeah. While his uh newborn child was in the other room. Fun. Yeah. So that's why he got locked. All right. Let's stop talking about that. Yeah. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I never said a name. No, we're narrowing it down. Though. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably public record, but our like, entire family's like, we know who it is. We come from a fucked up family. I mean, <laughs> I thought by now people would fucking figure this out. God. But anyways, he moving on. Yeah. Just fucking crazy. I wonder how jacked he is. Uh, Actually, I think he's actually pretty fit now. Yeah. <laughs> prison prison will fucking make you hey, jack. If you guys want a free membership to somewhere that gives you three square meals a day and a cot, just 
Commit a crime, go to prison. Let me tell you how fucking ridiculous this man is. I remember one time I had a story where he, he came into work with his arm in a sling. And I was like, what the fuck happened to you? And then he was just like, I don't want to talk about it. And then his sister told me the story. And he's like, you know that one guy that lives like up the road from like his house, right? Yeah. The guy he's always like drinking with. They got drunk one night and he was just like, bro, you want to wrestle? And they ended up wrestling, and his 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 friend picked him up and body slammed him on the ground and broke his arm, because it's the kind of shit that drunk dudes just do, yeah. you know. I they were probably did he like, get over him like like Stone Cold Steve Austin? <laughs> Never get a hell yeah. <laughs> they hit him with a you can't see me. Just walked in the house, left him out. He just left him out there at night like with a broken arm. <laughs> just the idea of two drunk guys wrestling at night. <laughs> How drunk do you have to be to be like, bro, let's wrestle. <laughs> let's fucking do this. <laughs> That's some high school shit. But they pull some Rey Mysterio shit. Just that reminds me. all over the place. I have a lot of wrestling stories from that neighborhood. Because I remember growing up, like, dude, everybody loved wrestling. Well, you yeah, know? duh. So one of the fun things that you do as a teenager when you're like in middle school and high school, right? Is you go to the guy's house who has a big ass trampoline and you practice wrestling moves on yeah. it. You know, you do some choke slams, some overhead, like fucking like yeah. you know, do a tombstone on somebody. <laughs> it's just funny shit. But one time, uh, do the rashiki thing and put your ass in someone's face. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So I remember one time I was uh, hanging out with this one dude. He was a he was a smaller, wiry little fucking like Mexican dude, right? He was funny as hell, but he was he was he had a few fucking screws loose, yeah. right? But I remember one day we were all there at the trampoline and shit, and we were just like, dude, let's fucking, like, um, practice some tag team shit, right? And then, uh, of course, like, uh, he got tagged in, I got tagged in, and we're wrestling each other. I'm significantly a lot bigger than him. (laughs) So I'm picking his ass and throwing him. And then I go in for the fucking pin, right? Because, you know, and then, you know, one of our friends over there doing the fucking referee shit. As he hits the second hit... Mm -hmm. This man grabbed my dick and pulled it. (laughs) And I let go immediately. I was like, bro, you can't do that shit. (laughs) He's like, this is a hardcore match or what? Like, (laughs) Pulls out barbed wire. (laughs) He just fucking comes out dressed as Cactus Jack. A cage starts lowering down. (laughs) Dude, do you remember? I remember that brought me down fucking Nostalgia Road because I remember I saw the. I recently rewatched. The WWE SummerSlam, where Mankind came out, got thrown out, then Cactus Jack came out, and then got thrown out, and then Dude Love came no, out. He just changed. He, came <laughs> he, he, came, he got thrown out of the ring three times. Yeah. <laughs> and that then, guy took a fucking beating, dude. He did. He yeah. did. Dude, was Mick, he, he was in the Japanese wrestling league for a while, too. Yeah, Mick Foley was yeah. is, is an OG, but like it's just fucking insane to think about. He was also apparently just a fucking, like, he lived like a homeless man, apparently. Yeah, I mean, look at the man. He, yeah. looks, he looks like somebody who just doesn't need a lot to, like, fucking get by. Have you seen that? I think I sent it to you. Uh, Triple H was telling a story about him uh, uh, traveling with mankind. Yeah. Uh, when they would go to hotels, he wouldn't book a room. He would just sleep on the couch in the hotel lobby. <laughs> uh, and he would have his clothes, he would have his clothes and like stuff in a black plastic bag. And he remembers they did one episode or one show. Uh, for some reason, the, the, the ACs in the building weren't working. So it was fucking hot and they were just pouring sweat, like to the yeah. point where they're almost passing out in the ring. And uh, they go at the end, and they're all, like, in the shower room and everything. And he says that uh, Mick Foley takes off his, like, he was, it was when he was in, um, he was just wearing his, uh, uh, what was it? His costume was the white sneakers with the gray sweatpants and the fucking, like, uh, the, the, the plaid shirt on top. Okay, so that yeah. was. That, that was, it? like, it was just Mick Foley. Yeah, it was just Mick Foley. Because yeah. I was like, that's not Cactus Jack. No, Cactus Jack is, like, you know, yeah. Cactus Jack. Yeah, and then there was Dude Love with the fucking tie dye, and then Mankind with the mask. Yeah, yeah. But no, it, that was it. It was just he was just Mick Foley. Uh, he stripped down, and he said like Triple H, like I can hear him taking off his clothes because he was so drenched in sweat. <laughs> like you, <he's> just... 
and you take all the pants, roll them off, and everything, and then you go run in the shower, just kind of wash yourself off a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> this he's all like, and this guy would come back, grab his sweaty shirt, use it to dry himself off, and then put the clothes back on. Oh, and then walk out ready to like travel for the next show. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh my god. Some people are just fucking nomads, yeah. dog. Like they just fucking keep on rolling. Dude, but Mick Foley is a great example of like how exercise really did fucking like uh help him. Cause after yeah. after his career ended, he was like severely injured. Yeah, a like, lot of them get fucking like, he, severely injured. Like he was fucked up for a while. And apparently, um uh, Diamond Dallas Page, DDP, mm-hmm. he developed like a whole new system of like yoga for people who like are trying to go into recovery. Yeah. You know, he's got that famous story of that guy who was like a Vietnam vet who like had shattered his knees after like parachuting so much. And then through Diamond Dallas Page's workout thing, he was able to like become active again. He was able to walk yeah. again. Was you it know? cotton from King of the Hill? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but like, that video that he showed is really fucking inspirational. How yeah. this guy who's basically like in leg braces was finally able to like change his life through yoga because he was yeah. little by little he was able to rebuild his body. And uh, Mick Foley apparently got in touch with him and told him like, "Dude, I'm banged the fuck up. Like, yeah. I don't know what I can do to help me." He's like, "How many times has he, has he been thrown off that damn cage?" Yeah, and like, Diamond da- and Diamond Dallas Page, you know, put him in his program and then also like uh, helped him like clean up his diet and shit. And then now he was able to finally like, he's not like super fit, but he's like n- mobile again. Yeah. Like he's like able to get around. He yeah, he's, he's beat up, good. dinged up, but he's moving. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's crazy. Like there's um, like it's all on TikTok. I see all this shit on TikTok because I don't watch cable TV. Yeah, uh, what is it? it's not even cable anymore. Um, Undertaker and uh, and Kane. Yeah, they're just old fucking men now. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you see them and like they're just at home and Undertaker just looks like some fucking like uh, old biker guy that just like decided to settle down and then Kane just looks like this ugly old man. <laughs> I, I and, think uh, he became like a fucking mayor. Yeah, he became like, a mayor. A mayor for like a small town. Yeah. And then I know um my my favorite <laughs> I, I want to see the I'm sorry, I want to see the entrance of him walking into like the uh when he was running for mayor for the debates that they yeah. do. They just like all the lights doom <laughs> oh! <laughs> wild fire and he's just on stage <laughs> now i know you probably agree with me like the attitude era was like the best era oh, wrestler yeah, right? who's your, who was your favorite wrestler my favorite wrestler stone cold steve same Austin. same dude you can't beat him yeah he it was the fucking funniest yeah the most well-spoken <laughs> and just like the most ridiculous fucking character because his whole thing was like fuck everybody yeah. how often he would just be he like just fuck with Vin, uh, vince mcmahon yeah and like <laughs> it's it's funny because apparently he has so many stories where he was like him and Vince were hyper competitive with each yeah. other and that's what built their rivalry was the fact that like Stone Cold was just like I'm gonna do what I'm gonna fucking do mm-hmm. you do your shit and it's like and his... that's the bottom line <laughs> yeah but the thing is like Stone Cold is such a genuinely really nice person yeah yeah he is uh, I know he has like his own podcast and he mm-hmm. had like a beer like drinking show too where he invites like celebrities on and they just drink beer together yeah he had the one where uh, it was on He's got his own beer, of course. Yeah, he was on YouTube. He, uh, he, they made him like a bunch of like little like frilly drinks and everything. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "This is delicious. I'll, I'll fucking have another one of these motherfuckers." Yeah. And then the other one was like, "Oh, this is fucking disgusting." Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I remember somebody had shared a clip which just showed you like how like genuinely like funny he is as a person. Yeah. It was before I, the guest had showed up to like the. Um, to like the podcast that he like hosts, uh-huh. right? And he was just chilling in the studio playing Legend of Zelda on the fucking TV. Are you serious? He was playing Breath of the Wild. Oh wow. Yeah, it's an older like um, yeah, yeah. thing. But like it's funny to think that like he's just like he's just a girl like I feel like if you are a wrestler, you're just a grown child. Like yeah. 'cause like it like there there's something about just being imaginative that's fun about wrestling. Yeah. But let's talk about like the physiques yeah. on these fucking dudes. Bro, these dude. guys were killing themselves, dude. Yes. Like, yeah. I mean, but I, I mean, like, fucking what? Chris Benoit. That's yeah. one that happened. Um, fucking just like the. Just build ups from shit happening. Uh, 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 fucking, uh, what's his name? Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. Yeah, he died too. 
Um, he he had like uh, hit, but his like a lot of what was happening was a lot of them get addicted to painkillers, yeah, because they're constantly hurting themselves. Mm-hmm. But not just that, but they're also on roids because they have to keep up their physiques. Because yep. you know you can't be like a fucking like unless your gimmick is being the fat wrestler. <laughs> Like they they want to fucking look good, bro. Even the fat wrestlers have to have muscle under that. Yeah, shit, I mean, I mean, I understand yeah. why some of those bigger dudes, like, oh, I mean, Omaga died. Yeah, and he was like, he was like a big fucking deal when he was a, when he was a wrestler. Like he it wasn't was, Jr. was a wrestler, wasn't he? Uh, he was in the past. Yeah, but he got more famous through bringing an announcer. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, you know, that had to take a toll on his body too. Yeah, he, he came on like the he came in the ring, dude. JR and the fucking like other dude, uh, uh, huh? Yeah, what's his name? Uh, Jerry Lawler. Yeah, Jerry Lawler. Yeah. They were the best duo. They were yeah, the they best were. announcing duos. They 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 just were fucking perfect. Oh my god, it's chaos! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one clip and he's just like he's like complete madness in the ring. He's like, oh shit, it's Robocop. And then it's a Robocop guy just came. Or, still my favorite one, it's Vince McMahon pulls the hood off. It's like, it's me. And then you see uh, you hear uh JR, oh you son of a bitch. <laughs> favorite thing is watching um there's a lot of really good like wrestling uh, based shows on youtube yeah where this they, episode's about wrestling now yeah yeah <laughs> well i mean wrestling comes in a, uh, a lot with like physical yeah. stuff because i feel like wasn't that the first motivation for you to want to be kind of jack because you want to choke to slam the fuck out of someone well it's not, it's not just that but it's just like it looks cool yeah to be fucking that ridiculously yoked. Why do you think I have my hair like this? I'm gonna yeah. get yoked that way. I can put it in front of my face like like a Triple H and Dude, then do the. <laughs> I just want to be fucking Eddie Guerrero jacked once in my life. Yeah, he was fucking like. Just fucking squared. Yeah, up, yeah, dude. yeah. But I mean, you know, that's just pure like. Like old school machismo, hit mm-hmm. the gym every fucking day, kind of shit, you know? Hit my kids. Uh, hit do my some life. Do some coke. <laughs> Cry on the inside. <laughs> but no, fucking... Uh... <laughs> we lie, we cheat, we steal. <laughs> <laughs> Mexicans! <laughs> that whole gimmick was so stupid. Yeah. Because it was so racist. Yeah, the Latin heat and yeah, all the shit. La- Dude, I actually was going to buy a shirt. It was it was such a cool shirt. I saw it on Etsy. Mm. It says Latino heat on it, and it's Eddie Guerrero like this. Oh, nice. With like two lowriders next to him. get it. Shit. Uh, uh, it, it was just, uh, I just forgot to order that thing. It I'm going like, to get a Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt. It was a cutoff like um, shirt, yeah. but um, it's the one of him where he's like, it's, you know, when he's in the ring. Yeah, the double, double, double finger. fingers. Yeah, but it's two rattlesnakes for hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, um, Going back to like the whole thing, but you you hear you hear a lot of these stories. I remember yeah. uh, them talking about like in in that era, they were always at the fucking gym. They were yeah. constantly pushing it. They're constantly pushing it. And now more than ever, dude, fucking like WWE divas like completely changed. Where like I think they did away with the whole diva thing, and now it's just like like this is just the female wrestlers. Yeah, and they're fucking jack- like Ray Ripley. Is that the goth mommy? Yes. Yes. The level of like gears that turn in my head where yeah. I'm just like, I don't know how to feel about this, but I'm kind of into way, the it. The way she pins the other women sometimes, like yes. legs in the air on oh them, is God. like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know the fucking referee's like, one, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> but that, but I feel like they were the forefront for the new generation of muscle yeah. mommies online, dude. Because, dude, like more now than ever, women are getting fucking jacked. But not just that. And I'm but here like, for that. Yeah. Yeah. Like a hundred percent. Like I think it's fucking awesome. Like I remember I was having a conversation uh, with my wife about it because she, like you know, she's uh, she's starting to get back into working out again as yeah. well with me because you know we're all trying to like. Everybody's trying to improve their health. Yeah, we're just trying know? to get healthy. We're all trying to get healthy. Yeah, we're not trying to force, you know, our wives to, you know, turn into like yeah. meatheads, but well, it's just to get healthy. Well, well all right. I'm hit not. that hit that bench press, bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, you can drop another plate on that. Come on. No, no, but she did tell me that she was like she not just does she want to get healthy, you know, yeah. and like, you know, lose weight and all that stuff, but she says that more than anything, she's always felt like 
She's always focused on the vanity parts, and she's never focused on actually developing some strength. And yeah. she's like, I want to do strength training. And she was, I was like, okay, well, I can show you some stuff that I know. Um, but I think now more than ever, women want to be strong, and yeah. they want to look strong. They want to look like – they want to be bulky. And men now more than ever, like I get it. Some guys have their preferences. Me, personally, I think you – bitch-ass motherfucker. If you don't fucking yeah. like like – a woman for being buff. You're so demasculated that a woman is maybe stronger than you. Yeah. But at the same time, no, she can lift me up. But I'm like, guys, you got to think about the benefits. If she's think of the gorilla grip on that thing, like, like picking you up off the fucking ground. I remember somebody shared a fucking meme where this, the Kegel thing. Yeah. The girl was like picking up the kettlebell with her vagina. That was a fucking like 20 pound weight. And then it has the guy like, Whoa, Oh shit. He's being lifted. (laughs) I want that. <laughs> but no, it's just like I remember. Um, I want to feel like it got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let go. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, sometimes in the in the in the heat of the moment, you feel it clamp off on you, but where it just like hits, like it, like where it feels like a ghost just grabbed you, like. <laughs> Like, the the yeah. ghosts of your future children. <laughs> no, I need to be born. <laughs> oh, no, it's Bill Cosby from Ghost Dad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but fucking, yeah, it's, I mean, it's just to get healthy. I mean, like, I remember um, uh, when we were in uh, better shape in Houston. Um, I mean, Hannah, you see her, she was squared up, dude. Like she was over there, uh, she was lifting weight for her size and her stature. What was the what was the uh, what was the uh, size that you reached? Like the 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 peak of like you working out. Like what was like the weight you were carrying? The weight I was carrying, like what? Like how much how much were you weighing at the time that you were like like in Houston when you were like fully working out? Two seventy, two eighty. That's the smallest that you got. Yep. Okay. But I was like, that's still damn. That's if I was, but that was me. 270, 280 with the muscle mass too. Yeah, because I was I was getting pretty good. Yeah, like, you were getting square chested. I remember, yeah. like, because you came to visit me um, uh, yeah. from Houston, like, and I uh, came angry, dude, because I was on that testosterone the the supplements that yeah, had, like, yeah. testosterone booster. I just remember the Bro, first. I was so angry. <laughs> I remember you came you came to like my apartment uh, just for yeah. like a quick minute to like. Um, to just like you know drop in yeah. and uh, my sis uh, uh, my. My wife's sisters uh, were there, and they heard you, and they're like, "Why is his voice so fucking baritone?" Because like, you were so like, you were like so healthy, but also I guess you had that testosterone in you that you were like, "Bro, that Bro, confidence was up, dude." Yeah, yeah, you were like, you you were you were walking around like like Giga Chad. You're <laughs> Giga like Chad. you're a Giga Chad out. The jaw, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> baby, don't hurt me. Everywhere you go, yeah. don't hurt me, ladies. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, dude, but uh, yeah, I was fucking, I was picking up weight. I was, um, I was on this one program, so, uh, it would just be like, um, it, it's weird because it would stagger how many sets you would, or how many uh, reps you would do per set. Yeah. And it would be like, all right, you're dropping, you're putting on, uh, you're picking up like one, one ninety five. And then the next one is like, all right, just put some tens on there too with it, mm-hmm. and then all right, drop another fucking forty five on there, and then you do three reps, and then oh, this one's five reps, and then oh no, this one's two reps. They're like, no, max out one rep only. Oh, so it's kind of yeah. like the confuse the muscles mm-hmm. kind of thing, yeah, and bro. Like I was getting fucking strong, and that was when I was like, I would pick that shit back up, and I'd be like, ah, God. <sighs> <laughs> Like, um, we had a, uh, like the thing that I do miss a lot and that helped us out, um, when you have, and it's not like you see this group of people that go to work out and they're just standing around talking all the goddamn time and they just take up the fucking racks or whatever. Yeah. I hated that shit. But when you go and you have an actual like person that's working out with you, it brings out the competitiveness. It brings mm-hmm. out, you know, the whole pushing each other. You're yeah. there telling the other person like, get that shit up, man. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. And it's just like it, it makes it better. Yeah. Like you, you're able to put you you 
you have like that boost of energy coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know for me, whenever you and me used to go to the gym together, like the uh, the couple times that we did, yeah, I liked having you there. So I had somebody like, because I would ask you, how's my like, how's my technique? Is my technique good? Yeah. Because a lot of times I don't know. Because sometimes like I I feel like I'm doing it correctly, yeah. but I could have my posture wrong, or maybe I'm not like extending correctly. Yeah, I learned a lot from my buddy. He was he like I'm glad that he was the one who put me on it like and got me going because he was like he's a personal trainer he does a bunch of other shit he mm -hmm. even does like this like i think he still does it. it's like these metal like it looks like a giant metal pill and then there's another one's like a little metal like hourglass thing yeah, yeah yeah and it's it's called rolling or something like that and these like they drop on you these things are fucking heavy but bro he'll like work out the kinks in your back and everything with that shit oh wow oh my god dude you feel like a million bucks after that shit um because it like it's it's the weight of it just pulling what it needs to out of the way. Mm. It's great. But um no, he showed me, he walked me through a bunch of shit. He um like like love the guy. He he was the one who helped me like get to wanting to be better. Yeah. But uh yeah. And I just need to get back on it. Yeah. Like, that's what I've been trying to do. Now we're um, getting we're getting near the end of this episode because you know we're about to. <laughs> oh the, shit! It's already the, been an hour. Yeah, we've, been, we've been talking for a minute. It's been all a, right. <laughs> we might have to do a part two. Who knows? Maybe maybe we'll, later. Another maybe, episode. Down yeah, yeah. Maybe we should focus like on another a future episode about Jim fails. Like maybe yeah, uh, get some be good. get some clips in here. We'll you know? get the. The the screen up and everything. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll be able to edit in shit like uh, yeah, um, for like the YouTube and shit, you know. So remember, find us on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, see our beautiful faces. Ten this episode, I think you would be the best person to ask this for someone who has lost a lot of weight before in the mm -hmm. past. What would you recommend people to do if they're trying to like you know improve their overall health when as far as like getting into the gym for the first time? Like, uh, what do they need to focus on more? Diet. Diet, hundred yep. percent. That's what uh, my buddy told me. Is like it's mainly your diet. You got to watch out for. Um, it's not about starving yourself. It's about eating just the right things. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I still remembered. Uh, he showed me a method with your hand. It's like your palm is your protein. Uh, cup is like grains mm -hmm. and like finger. It's it's a bunch of stuff, and that's mm -hmm. how you measure your stuff by your hand. Yeah, yeah. And it's like times for me uh, because of my size. If I just do one, it's like a half serving, so I have to do two of this or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, it was crazy. But getting your diet in order is will change your fucking life. Yeah, yeah. like you'll feel better. You'll be eating the right things. You'll have more energy. Uh, cut out most of the fast food. Like it's not saying like just cut it out completely. Have it every once in a while. Don't yeah. fucking like just eat boiled chicken and rice and green beans yeah i mean i've always i've always i know right now me and my wife are doing just like the classic like mediterranean diet where half the plate is greens yeah. and then like a fourth is you know your proteins and the other is like your grains you although know? my buddy will tell me like he's like hey you can uh watch out for these greens because they carry a bunch of stuff and blah 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 mm. which is crazy like i you never would have thought of it like uh what is it raw broccoli isn't actually that good for you mm -hmm. like there's something in it that just fucks with you uh boil it uh, or cook it down to soft mm -hmm. so when it's soft you can put a fork through it that you can eat it like that is that including like frozen broccoli and shit i guess i've always heard that frozen broccoli actually carries more nutritional value in it because it's not sitting out as much because what they say is like it gets frozen immediately after being cut so it's retaining all all of it so it's not like losing it through age but I mean, if you like cook it, it loses some. Like everything, everything that you cook loses some of its nutritional value. Yeah, I mean, I heard there's variations yeah. to it. I heard like the worst thing to do with greens is to like boil, boil or fry it. Um, I heard steaming maintains most of its nutritional yeah. value. Uh, for a long, the longest time, I was blanching my stuff, but then even then, it would still be crunchy, and mm -hmm. that's not too good for you. Um, but um, what's the toughest thing to fucking give up? When it comes to dieting, for me, all the Mexican food, dude. I've uh, for me, it's just fucking rice, dog. I can't. Yeah. It's hard not eating like three or four servings of rice. For, grains or just grains. Yeah, like bread, tortillas, like in, in corn tortillas included in that. Yeah, rice, uh, uh, like just everything. It's it's in everything. I know the biggest. I know the biggest culprit when it comes because one good tip for anybody out there um, who wants to make like dietary changes, you always have to remember 
that um, you have you want to try to avoid things that are gonna inflame your body. Yeah. So you know breads and you know heavy carbs and shit. That's what that's what really does like does it in for you. Yeah. So try to avoid that. And then just, of course, avoid, I guess, a lot of sugar. Mm-hmm. And if you cut those two out, you will fucking naturally lose weight pretty well. Cut out soda. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't, what's that? That's for, don't. for guys, it's the quickest way to lose a couple pounds. If you just cut out soda completely and just drink water or like yeah. natural, maybe a juice here and there. I switched over to completely sh- nothing but sweet tea. <laughs> fucking worse. <laughs> no, no, I'm just fucking. Yeah. Oh, bro, dude, no. Like I, I need. No, that, that was okay. That was me moving the mic. My right. No, I need to. I I need. I'm lacking on my diet. I need to work on that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to eat less. I have been eating less, but sometimes I just you know pig out. Um, I was about to make some salmon. Ooh, I haven't had salmon in a second. But uh, dude, you know what I do? I get the salmon fillets like from like a Sam's Club, right? Yeah. Uh, thaw them out. Hit them with some uh, lemon pepper. Air fry, no oil, nothing, perfect every time. Nice, perfect every fucking time. Then you hit it with a sriracha. If you can find it now, huh? It, what's going on with sriracha? It's just, I don't know. It's just gone. What did did we? Did sriracha go extinct? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Biden! <laughs> <laughs> I told you something would happen. <laughs> oh God, dude. We we we'll have to get uh we we'll have to do an episode on for like, my next presidency. I'm gonna bring back sriracha. Trust me, I have a connect. God, it's China. <laughs> <laughs> they have the sriracha. We're working out deals. Is the sriracha made here? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. What I think sriracha originally is not Chinese. I think it's Korean. Is that Korean? I have no idea. I think it's Korean. Because the bottle with the chicken on it, it's always got it's got Korean like stuff it's on Korean? it. Korean, I think it's so. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, K- Koreans have the Cheerios and the, the lettering, right? The che- yeah, they, no, no, they have the blocks. The blocks. Yeah, Cheerios are uh, like more like island, like the Southwest or Southwest Southeast Asia. Maybe like Philippines. Yeah, the Philippines. Yeah, like around. There. Maybe it is Philippines. It's all that. That would make sense. They do cook with a lot of peppers down there. Hell's yeah, dude. It's fucking delicious. Yeah, sometimes that shit will light you. Dude, I forgot mm. to tell you. Uh, so, was it the other uh, the other week we went to the zoo? Because uh, we went to take oh, my... Oh, yeah, that's we, right. We, yeah, took yeah, the, yeah. we took my nephew um, uh, for his birthday, right? We went up there with uh, with his parents and stuff, and we just had like made a day out of it. Yeah. On the way back home, I was like starving. I was like, okay, let's go hit up this one like ramen place that's like in like the area. Oh, I saw your post, yeah. Yeah, we went to the ramen place. That bowl of ramen... So you're supposed to order it at a like between one to ten oh, uh, level, spice level? spice level. I didn't know what to do, so I was like, uh, "Give me a six, dude." It lit me up. I was yeah. fucking uh, sweating. Uh, my wife only got a four, and she was like, oh, "Like like sweating." But I tried hers, and I was like, "Hers is perfect. Mine is way <laughs> too hot, dude." I reached that like the thing was I decided to be a dumbass and power through it Mm -hmm. instead of like asking for more broth to water it down a little bit. But I was like, fuck it. I ain't no bitch. Mama didn't raise a quitter. They just put more of the spice in there. (laughs) Uh, Dude. uh, So I finished the bowl of ramen and I did, I, I got to that level of being too spiced up where I was like, uh, were you hiccuping? I've no, I felt high. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, Oh yeah. Like I was like, Whoa. (laughs) Like I was like, this shit is hot as fuck. And then, and then, uh, I had to like, uh, somebody was calling me. So I like walked out of the car and I left my wife to like, you know, um, the pay and she fucking <laughs> tipped back. Cause she was like, I'm mad that they didn't tell me how spicy it was. What? I was like, bitch, you just fuck the like, fuck Denise. <laughs> she always finds a reason not to give a good tip. She is a cheapskate. That still blows my mind that they never tipped her family. Yeah, dude. God. I'm like, how did you not have like a fucking like pizza man just spaz on you? Yeah. Although I will talk about my, one of my favorite memories from a pizza guy that I have yeah. was one time where the pizza guy got lost and my mom and dad were like, where the fuck is this pizza? It like took them two hours to show up. Oh, wow. He showed up and it was this older black dude who was obviously high as fuck. And then he's holding a single pizza. And we're like, we ordered three pizza. He's like, oh shit, I forgot the other two. And he just went to his car and left. 
we never got the fucking pizza. Jesus Christ. I bet your dad was pissed, dude. My dad was mad as hell. Yeah. My dad was fucking pissed. And this is like the only, one of the earliest memories I have of like an interaction like that. My other favorite memory was um, this other pizza guy. This is the last favorite memory. <laughs> It was an, a, a pizza guy from our neighborhood where every time he would show up, yeah. as soon as you open the door, he could go, pizza time! <laughs> Loud as fuck, dude. Every time. It, he was a fat dude with really long curly hair, and he always wore like that, you know, the, the pizza yeah. chain hat. Right? I think yeah, it was yeah, Domino's yeah. Uh, he used to work for. Or it might have been Pizza Hut. It was one of the two, you know? But every time he showed up, as soon as you open, he saw the crack open, he hit you with a pizza time every fucking time. Hey, man, he's getting you fucking hyped up for that pizza. And then that became like a neighborhood thing. We'd be like, we ordering pizza? Pizza time! We'd all <laughs> yeah, yell it. It's like, it's like, come on, pizza guy. And if he showed up, we'd all hit him with a pizza guy. Like, it was so stupid. But, you know, it's just, you know, one of yeah. those fucking things. But It's but, those little memories that bring some joy to life. Yeah. You know? Can't be eating pizza anymore, though. Yeah. Well, no, you can eat pizza, just huh? not a whole fucking large pizza. <laughs> no, I mean, a slice or two. I'm just meaning because I've been real sensitive to cheese lately. That's uh, really what it is. But I mean, I got pizzas in my freezer. I'm going to eat them eventually. I just got to chill the fuck out. But anyways, thanks for listening to another episode <laughs> of The Night Fun, guys. Um, make sure to follow us on Instagram at The Night Fun Podcast. You can find us on TikTok, YouTube, all with the same fucking handle. Who knows? Maybe we might make a fucking threads page or something. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, uh, I'll probably do it anyways. Uh, but anyways, uh, <laughs> just in case anyone wants to see hilarious tweets revolving me and my dick out. That's Twitter. Oh. Right, yeah. <laughs> just photos of me jacking off. <laughs> All right, let's end this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks again for listening to another episode. Who knows? We might do a follow-up to this. Maybe, yeah. maybe in the future. Who the fuck knows? But thank you for watching. And uh, you thank are. you for anybody who has uh, subscribed to us recently. That's awesome. We're uh, putting out content every Friday. <laughs> I, for, I lost my train of thought for a second. Where's right. my, what happened to Give my... Give your fuck? handle. What's your handle? My handle? Oh, yeah. If you want to follow me on my personal, you can find me at Handful of Pedro. And I'm also in the woods. Yeah. But as always, new episodes every Friday. Make sure to fucking uh, give us a rating on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that other good shit. But yeah. Thank you again for listening, and we'll see y'all next Friday. Bye. This is the third time this is, is going to end the song. Probably. <laughs> I just, I just cut it off. Just, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? End the episode. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs>